So when the plane of the coil is placed parallel to the horizontal component of earth magnetic induction and a current is passed through the coil, there will be two magnetic fields acting perpendicular to each other. One is the current through the coil, the other one is earth magnetic induction. which is indicated here due to these two crossed fields the pivoted magnetic needle is deflected through an angle theta according to tangent law B is equal to BH into tan theta if a current I passes through the coil of n turns and radius A, the magnetic induction at the center of the coil is B is equal to mu naught into N into I divided by 2A. Where B is the magnetic induction and BH is the earth magnetic induction. N is the number of turns and A is the radius and mu naught is the permeability of medium. Substituting both the equations, you got mu naught into n i by 2a is equal to b s tan theta. So, i is equal to 2a, 2a into b s tan theta divided by mu naught by into n. So, substituting k is equal to 2a b h divided by mu naught n, we got i equal to k theta, k into tan theta where k is the constant and it's called reduction factor of tangent galvanometer. So as indicated i is equal to k tan theta and where k is the reduction factor of tangent galvanometer. It is constant at a place. Using this equation current in the circuit can be determined. Since the tangent galvanometer is the most sensitive at the deflection of 45 degree, the deflection should be adjusted between 30 and 60 degree. 